guys, it's Mike with Sunny Soap Garage. Today, I've got my little helper here. He's actually gonna participate in some disassembly. Uh, it's about mid-afternoon, so I ain't bothering him. I ain't gonna keep him up real late tonight, but first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking the doors off this C20, C10 conversion project that we got going on. And then we're gonna get this nasty seat out. We're gonna pull the floor mat out. We're gonna check out the floorboards. The back pan is what I'm really concerned about because those things are a pain to replace. I already know that I probably got a lot of rot damage down here in the rocker panels and the inner rockers are just gone. That section of floor, I'm pretty sure it's gone as well. It's that back pan that's back here, I'll show you. That back pan that goes around there water gets down this windshield runs down there and usually rust that out now i don't see anything on the back side but it doesn't mean but it doesn't mean that it's not rotten out let's cross our fingers and make sure that our floor is at least good on the inside i can deal with anything on the outside but the the inner floor part gets a little bit more complicated when you're cutting that much metal out you're getting her done are you actually turning those off without twisting those aluminum pegs off yeah good that's a challenging part right there that's hard to do so in previous episodes we'll link them up top we'll put a card up top in previous episodes we got the front end off and we also we worked on getting that bed off he's working on the front fender emblems um, we're not going to keep the c20 because they obviously broke in the past and the guy drilled uh, some screws through them so they're no good and we're not going to use them anyways Cold? No, his screw won't come off. Do you need a smaller socket or something or what? No, it's keeping stuck on a piece that might be stripped. Oh. What we're going to do is we're going to mark these doors. A lot of people like to drill a hole for a reference point. I'm just going to spray paint them because we're going to be going with new doors anyways. I know I'm not keeping the door either, but we're going to be going with new doors. And the only reason I'm going to need this reference line is to um, line up my rockers so when i do my rockers we can follow our door line and make sure we don't weld in the rocker low or weld it in too high so is that warm over there yes it's a little cold in the shop right now i got a fire going but it's not ideal yet Yep, next is to pull the seat out. So let's get the seat pulled out. You have to find what size, what size are those nuts down there holding that seat in. See the two there? They're probably gonna be a half inch. It's a half. All right, let's try a half inch. Perfect. Perfect? Get your ratchet. Air ratchet. 
That's an area right there. I got that. Alright. You got it on the right? Yep. Alright. Disconnect your impact. That's tough to do when you got little hands, huh? But a man's got to play with the hands he's dealt. Okay. Almost. Here. There you go. Don't squeeze the tool. There you go. Did you lose something? Yeah. Well, which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? Must not have it on there very well, huh? <laughs> not very well. Make sure it's flush. There, it snapped down. All right, check your rotation. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? So grab, grab your thing here, hit the button. <laughs> what, what direction is that going? Private Baba, do you expect me to believe that you don't know left from right? Sir, no, sir. Then you did that on purpose. You want to be different. It's going left. Yeah. Yep, so that's what you're going to need to do. Did you get it? Yep. Is there, stick your hand on the back side there. Is, it... <laughs> Is there one back there? No? Nope. I don't know if that's all the bolts, all the but it should be close, huh? Wait. Did you find some more? I found one on the side. You found one on the side, huh? Yes. Where at? Back there. Back there? Can you get to it? I can get to it with my hand, not with that. What if you had a smaller socket? On that, would you be able to get to it? A Probably. shorter socket? Probably. No? Let's see. Oh yeah, we can get it. <laughs> Boom. You know what that means? What? It means there's a nut on the other side too. Let's go get it. Oh, they, didn't. they took shortcut. Good thing nobody got in a head-on collision with this thing because uh, half the seat was bolted down. All we gotta do now is yank that seat out. Let's get the let's get situated. Okay. Oh, they'll learn. Get it on your side and Bring some carpet with me? Yep. That came out easier than I thought it would. Thank you. <laughs> now, we, now we got some chairs. <laughs> now, now we got some chairs. Oh man, look at that. Treasure. What year is that? 1995. 1995. She's a keeper, boys. Well, we're going to start working on getting this mat out. Let's see what we got. Oh, no. You're going to want to. You're going to want something better than that. What you're going to want to do, bud, is you're going to want to look at the, the flathead you're dealing with. So look at the tip of the Maybe. screw you're dealing with. So this is, this is about the size you want, all right? That's too small. So... See all those screws around that? Yeah. I'm gonna need those off. Two thousand years later. Pretty sure GM does not use flathead screws driven in at an angle in their Fisher panel plates. 
Can anyone find me the part number to this uh, GM wood screw, flathead wood screw? That'd be great. I want to keep this as original as possible. Oh, yeah. Side, rip it up, kind of fold it in. Ooh, nice little mice nest. Yep. <coughs> oh, that's the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> <coughs> You guys are lucky you're on the other side of that lens because this thing reeks. We're going to get this cleaned up real quick and then see what we got. Now, I forgot that I have to take out that gas tank in order to get to the back panel. I don't know how much gas is in there, so that might come to a later video when we get that gas tank out and I can deal with that gas at a later situation. So we might just have to wait on that back panel, but at least we could see what we have for floorboard. So we'll get cleaned up and we'll be right back. Well, it's too early to tell, but it seems like the floor is pretty solid. I do have these riveted panels that I, I would have to get out to see what's underneath them. What I can tell what's underneath the cab is they're pretty much rotted out. So we'll buy the sections of floorboards, the half pans, to replace these not a big deal i was ma mainly worried about the pillars here they seem very solid i do have some concerns about the back pillar right through here it's something that can be repaired it's just a little bit more work than i wanted to do now i didn't think about this when i get ready to pull this cab off is how am i going to get this cab over that long stick shift I was thinking I have to pull that pan out, pull the pan out, and that's probably the only way I'm gonna be able to get out of there unless I drop the transmission out of this truck. So, uh, gonna be a little bit more complicated than I think. We're gonna get the, I gotta get some wire to pull this uh, window glass out, both front and back, and we should be good. I'm gonna work on getting this gas tank out. I don't know how much is in there, so and I don't have anywhere to put that gas right now. So I wanted to get that done in this video and see what that back pan looked like, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So it's gonna wait till the next video. So I would say that our next video is gonna be getting this glass out, getting that gas tank out, pulling this pan and prepping this cab for coming off the frame. So I'll, my little buddy here, he'll be in on that one too. And I think he did a good job. Hmm, not so much, no. Yeah, sit there and just drink your root beer. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the next episode, guys.